Hey boys, sorry I'm not. Today we're gonna to be customizing the brand new Vapid Slam Truck in GTA Online. This thing is kind of cool. Um, as you guys can see on the back of it here, it looks like it can hold a car on the back. So we're gonna be testing that today in the video and uh, letting you guys know how that goes. But for right now, let's hop right into the truck and get to the customization. So starting off, we have the armor. We're gonna go all the way up on that for the brakes as well, all the way up. For the front bumpers, we have a few options. Sweep bumper, beam bumper, T-bar bumper, blade bumper, arrow, primary arrow, or power ram. Um, I don't even know which one looks good, to be honest. I'm not really into these old vehicles so much, um, but the T-bar is looking pretty good. Uh, so we're gonna go for that one, I think. For the engine, let's go all the way up, of course. The exhaust, we have a few options here. We have tall exhausts, ooh, okay. Angled exhausts, or heat shield exhausts. I like the heat shield, I think that looks pretty sick. We're gonna go for that one. For the grill, we have a secondary stock grill, mesh grill, secondary mesh, barred grill, secondary barred, billet, billet, secondary, spacer grill, chrome tooth. Um. Hmm. Not sure which one I like the best, honestly. I actually like the mesh grill. We're gonna go for that one. For the hood, we can go for a dart hood, arrow hood, Vapid Mark One or Two. Uh, we're gonna go for the Vapid Mark One. I like that. I like the little Vapid logo on the side there. For the lights, we're gonna go xenon, of course. For the livery, we have a few options. We can go tapered black stripe. Okay, that's cool. Vapid Motor Company. Diego's Garage, White Pinstripe, Glass Heroes, Al's Auto, Estancia, ooh, that looks pretty sick, Premier 37, Stronzo 37, Auto Exotic, Benny's, Los Santos, E. Cola, Black Flames, White Flames, Hustle Time, Total Ride Motors. Oh, that's pretty sick, actually. I like that one the best. Douche 42. I think we're going to go for Total Ride Motors. I like that a lot. That looks really clean, in my opinion. Mirrors. We can go for Chrome Vertical Mirrors, Chrome Round, or Chrome Overhang. I like the Chrome Overhang. Kind of eliminates some of that uh, huge space that the mirrors take up. So we're going to go for that one. For the plate, we're going to go yellow and black. Uh, I think that's at the back, although we can't see it. So that's cool. For the respray, uh, let's see what we can do here for colors. So, kind of want to go for something a bit brighter with this, I think. Um, hmm. I was going to say a blue, but the blue kind of doesn't match up with the red too well. Um, so, let's check our red, see if we can match that red to this one. Um, the brightest red torino i guess is the brightest i guess we'll go torino red on that and for the secondary that does the rest of the truck i think we're actually going to leave it white i think it looks pretty clean that way so let's do that transmission all the way up turbo of course let's put that on too visors we have some visors here okay so primary classic oh that's cool primary classic or secondary classic primary fulton visor and secondary Carso visor and secondary and peck hat. Um, I kind of like the full on, but I also kind of like the primary classic. So we're going to go for that one. For the wheels, we have a few options here. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to want to go with. I almost feel like off-roads would look the best on this truck, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Honestly, the stock wheels look really good. Um, we go for some nevies. Those look pretty clean, I feel like, but they kind of don't really match up too well. Maybe the Cairngorms? Yeah, we're gonna go for these. We're gonna paint these black as well. And for the tires, we could put a design on them, but I don't think we're going to. Bulletproof tires, of course, and window tint. Let's go all the way out on that. And this thing's looking pretty good, I think. Uh, let's exit down to the ground. We'll do a sound test. I'll give you guys a little review, and then we will get into the test to see if it can carry a vehicle on the back. So, let's uh, let's do a little sound test. 
This thing actually sounds pretty good for a huge truck like this. It sounds really good, honestly. Off the line, a uh, bit of a bit of an issue with traction. Um, could be worse, but it's uh, it's it's not great. Um, this thing definitely is not going to be a performance vehicle, really, uh, for you guys. It's obviously a truck, and being that it's so big, the turning circle is absolutely horrendous on it. Uh, it does drift a lot, which is kind of interesting. I guess sticking with the slam truck sort of thing. Um, it's the sorry, the slam vehicles like the slam van and all that stuff. They're all pretty good at drifting, I feel like. Um, so I guess the truck follows suit with that. Um, the acceleration once you get going is uh, actually it's not bad for such a huge vehicle. I, it definitely could be a lot worse. Um, and the top speed for such a huge vehicle as well seems pretty good. I have no complaints really. Um, this thing is honestly, it's pretty sick. It is very expensive. It comes in at $1.3 million, which is an absolute ton, but I don't know if it's worth it. Um, I don't know if I'd necessarily recommend it. Um, if you can tow a vehicle on the back, then I would say, you know, I'd probably say I recommend it because it's probably the only vehicle that can really do that. So um, let's get into that test. Let's see if you can actually put a vehicle on the back of this thing. So I'm gonna back up to a curb right here because the back of the truck um, is kind of raised up a bit, and so I feel like a lot of vehicles can't really back onto it too well. Um, so we're gonna help out and uh, park it right against the curb here. So let me back up. The truck, of course, actually does also have hydraulics where you can lift it. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you guys right now. You press X on keyboard to raise it and you press X to lower it as well. Don't know what it will be on console, but you guys can probably figure that out. All right, so let's hop out here. Let's hop in this Inferno. Uh, it's red and white, so it should match up with the uh, color scheme we got going on on the truck. And uh, let's, let's see how it goes. Let's see if we can get this thing on here. All right, so backing up. All right, let's try and load this thing onto here. Okay, it makes it up. Bring it right up to the front. Uh, cool. Okay. Let's hop out. All right. Now, to drive away, I'm going to raise the truck. Um, unfortunately, the Infernus's wheels are completely just in the air right now, so that's not a great look, honestly, but, I mean, oh well. All right. And if we do start driving, the car, unfortunately, does seem to want to roll off the back. It's staying all right, actually. And if I start slowing down, it does come back forward. Um, it seems to kind of kind of stay. It's staying a lot better than I was expecting it to. Um, so that's good, at least. But it's definitely going to fall off here, I feel like. Um, it also does get pretty damaged from being on the back of this thing, as you guys can see. But nonetheless, I think it's pretty cool. So um, I guess it sort of does work, guys. Um, I don't know if you had someone in the car, if that would help or if that would hinder. I have to say it probably hinder, honestly, but we don't know for sure, so I will not say. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review. Overall, I'd say for the simple fact that you can actually load a vehicle onto the back of this thing, I would recommend getting it. Um, but honestly, it, you could probably spend your money a little bit better. Uh, I don't know how often you would truthfully use this thing, but if you think it's worth it, buy it by all means. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the customization and review today. If you did, leave a like. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care. Peace!